morning, everybody. So the email right here behind me is an email that was released last night titled Nail Part 1 from Jason Forrester between him and Jessica Kent. Now, you can pause to read the full thing if you want to, but there is quite a few different interesting things about this email. The way that she talks about her own friend, Jory, who she has said several times is her best friend, who is so good to her, all of these things, yet in this email, she talks about her as if she's a burden, a burden on her, her dog's a burden on her, all because she has to take care of the aftermath from the dog. However, Jury is literally putting her life on hold to help Jessica watch Jessica's kids do things for Jessica. The entitlement is very real. It seems to me, allegedly, that Jessica only wants people around her who are going to do what she says, who she can control, who are going to tell her she's right all the time and make her life easier. The entitlement is very real. That's all I'm saying. But as you can see in the highlighted part here, she also admits to using drugs with Jason. I want to make this very clear that this is not a judgment thing because again, as I've said a thousand times when discussing this, her recovery journey is hers alone. Okay. That's hers alone. And relapsing using is such a big part of recovery. No matter how many years you have under your belt, if you relapse, that's just a part of your recovery journey. You can get back up. You can try again tomorrow and do your best. So I'm not here to judge Jessica for using, okay? That's not what this is about. However, for over a year and a half, Jessica got on camera in front of all of her viewers, millions of, of people, and stated over and over and over, denying the fact that she ever used any drugs, that she relapsed on alcohol, and that's what she was struggling with, but she never used any drugs. This is something I really struggle with, y'all, because it is her prerogative. If she doesn't want to talk about something, she doesn't have to. But at the same time, if you're not comfortable being honest about something and talking about it, then why bring it up at all. Why sit down multiple times in front of the camera and give up a lie rather than just leaving it be until you're in a place where you feel more comfortable to be open and honest about it. I don't understand why you would sit down and give a lie over and over and over with so much confidence. This is why so many people have recommended that she take a break from the internet and step away because she is very reactionary. But obviously she isn't in a place where she wants to be completely open about these things. And again, I can respect that. It's her life. I don't think that I am entitled to know Jack Squat about her life. The issue is, is she is the one who brought her life to the internet and she is the one giving up lies, knowing that there is proof and respect seats out there to prove otherwise. So when that information comes out, then what? We're just all supposed to turn the other cheek to it, ignore it, continue to show grace and act like none of it's happening. I'm sorry, but I just can't. There is 10 million things that has came out about Jessica that I have chose to ignore and move on from and say that's irrelevant or that's too personal or too petty. That's not the public's business. And this is another one of those things that in my personal opinion, it isn't the public's business, but because Jessica decided to come on multiple times and give up a lie. She made it the public's business. She had no problem letting the world know that she was struggling with alcohol. And the only thing that makes sense to me on as to why she would admit that is because alcohol is so much more normalized within society. And the saddest part about all of this is it was such an unnecessary lie. People would have showed her support if she could have just been honest and said, yeah, you know what? This is what happened and it is what it is, but I'm really trying to work on myself. She not only denied it, but fought about it and defended herself against it for a year and a half knowing that it was a lie the whole time. I think most of us, all we were kind of searching for when it comes to Jessica Kent, because of the fact that she is a recovering advocate, whether she wants that title or not, she is. That is how so many people found her. 
a lot of us were only seeking transparency and honesty from her and would have supported her either way. The fact that she sat down in front of the camera over and over and over again with such a straight face looking at us saying, you guys, that's not my journey. That's not, that's not my journey. I, I just can't. I just can't, girl.